This is a demonstration of Spreadsheet Web's Dashboard and Business Intelligence platform. Dashboard creation allows the user to access and analyze large sets of data. The objective of this analysis can be to manage business performance, lower overall costs, or form better decisions with more information available through an easy-to-use, visually appealing web-based interface. Dashboards come in many shapes and sizes, utilizing all sorts of visual instruments to aid in the comprehension of large data sets. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will begin by looking at a data set for a company that specializes in motorcycle and motorcycle related sales. This application saves submitted values or sales information as records in a large data set. Whenever somebody places an order, it logs it in this data set. We will be creating our dashboard as an analysis tool for this set of data. We can find the recorded data in the data tab for this application. We access this by clicking here. Here we can see the sample data set with thousands of records. As you can see, there is no way to see the relationships between various variables or estimate trends or make any truly knowledgeable conclusions from these individual records. This is where the dashboard streamlines this process. We'll head back to the Applications tab, and from here we'll select Add Report. We'll give the report a name. and for the report type we'll select dashboard report. Now we need to link this new dashboard to our data set so under linked file we select our data set. Here we have the option of secure access SSL if desired. We'll leave it unchecked. Here we must select a group. We'll use default. These groups are used to set up access rights for the dashboard allowing or disallowing certain users the privileges to access or edit the dashboard. We also have space for notes if we'd like. Once we're done, we just select Save. Now we can see our new dashboard from the Applications list. However, it's still empty. To edit it, we need to select the Edit button, and then click here to Edit Report. A new window will open up, where we can see our empty dashboard. We can begin by editing the current tab and perhaps adding another one. To rename and recolor this tab, we select Edit and Edit Tab. From here, you can rename the tab and select a new color for the background. Let's rename the tab General Overview and select a new color for the background. Next, we can add a new tab. We press Insert and then insert tab to add a new tab. Notice that the options available for creating a tab are the same ones available when editing a tab. We'll name this one product overview and select a different background color. Now we have two tabs and we can switch between them by selecting them from the top tab manager. To begin creating the dashboard, we'll take a look at our data. We can do this by selecting the Insert and Insert Grid option. Here we have the option of selecting which record fields we would like to view in the grid. We'll select them all. Now we have a grid in the General Overview tab of our dashboard. Here we can see all the data records and determine what it is that we would like to display in our main window. On an overview page, we'd probably like to see a graph of general sales trends. Let's begin by setting a few filter dimensions. Select Insert and Insert Filter. From this menu, we have a large list of data fields from which we can filter our output information. A good place to start would be a filter that separates the results by time. First, we'll name this year and find our year data field. Then we have the option of selecting a filter type. These include radio buttons, checkboxes, combo boxes, list boxes, sliders, and text boxes. I'd like only one year to be selected at any given time, so I'll select radio button. Then I'll select save. You'll see the new filter appears on the left hand side of the dashboard. We'll now be able to filter our results by year. Perhaps we'd also like to see only certain months of the year. We'll insert a new filter and select the month data field 
title it month, and select list box as our filter type. Now let's say we'd also like to filter between item categories. We follow the same general process, insert a filter, title it category, and select the category data field. Then we can set the filter type to checkboxes and save. Now let's create our first graph. We select insert chart from the top menu. Now we'll make our first graph a line chart. Our x-axis data field will be our months so we can see the revenue over time. Our independent variable will be the total revenue or total due. We can group our data by country so we can have separate line graphs for each country where customers reside. We select the sum expression so that all the amounts due will be added and then graphed. Then we can save. Now we get a graph that shows the total revenue gained from each individual country we've sold products in. We can switch between years to view sales trends over time. We can add one more chart just to show the fluid nature of these interactive dashboards. Let's select Insert Chart again and this time select a heat map. For the size, we need to select our independent variable, in this case the quantity of each product sold. For our color field, we can select a month again as our dependent variable. We'll group the products by category and create a subgroup with a subcategory data field. Our expression again will be sum. Then we'll save and you can see the new heat map chart appears on our dashboard. Note that you can freely move any of the dashboard charts and objects. You can also resize them. All of this flows seamlessly. Again, you can change the year. And now both charts will be updated with the newly filtered data. You can also revisit and change chart options for already created charts by selecting Edit then finding the chart you'd like to edit and selecting edit chart. Depending on the chart type, you'll be presented with various options. You can select the layout tab to give the chart a title. We'll name ours total monthly revenue by country and label our axes month and revenue. We can also change axis options and whether or not to display a legend. Here we're also offered format options. This allows us to customize everything from font type to orientation. Now I'll skip through the rest of this development to an already created version of this dashboard. Here you can see that there are four tabs. Each one serves a distinct purpose in analyzing this huge data set. As you can see, there are visual representations from graphs to maps, all equally as simple to set up. They are all dynamic, and the selected filters cross between tabs, changing all of the data fluently. This has been a demonstration of Spreadsheet Web's dashboard support.